So apparently, Easy made a tweet about a certain YouTuber. It might have been about me. Let me know if you want me to respond to Easy's tweets. Comment below. Well, I guess they did it. They made another video to the saga. In the last video, Natalie finally spoke up. She gave a little hint to all the viewers, pretty much let us know that she's gonna do another video. This time with Easy. I thought it was gonna be with Josh too, but apparently it's just both of them. So, we're gonna go ahead and react to this video. Easy and Natalie uploaded a video called Finally Talking to My Girlfriend After Breakup. Now, I noticed that the word girlfriend is separated. Girl. Friend. And then it says breakup in capital letters. So I don't know what this means. I don't know what breakup they talking about, but we're gonna go ahead and react. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. And, and that's when I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what was what, what said, you know, all of that on both sides should have came to you because you're the, you're the middle part. Again, with that damn boom sound. And then everything blacks out. You know what that means, y'all? They about to be serious, so we better pay attention. What's up, everybody? What's um, up, Easy? As you can tell, I'm at Natalie's house. Uh, before I start, I just wanna say that this video isn't intended to bash anybody. So with that being said, I know you guys are very passionate when it comes to supporting us. Or supporting me or supporting Natalie or anybody else like this video is not intended to bash anybody so whatever happens or the outcome or what we say between each other you know just keep it positive in the comments you know what I'm saying we do read all the comments and it's been very overwhelming okay but if you guys don't know what's been going on pretty much um, you know, there was a video. Natalie actually disabled her comments I had a lot of people this time and not just me finally have noticed that Natalie ain't that great of an actress. So she pretty much dropped the ball. Now more and more people are starting to believe that this whole thing was staged. Now if y'all just paid attention to me, y'all could have saved a lot of time. But sometimes you have to learn the hard way. But let's go ahead and keep watching. Posted, I reacted to it, um, and then Natalie's brother reacted to it, and you know, we kinda talked about all of our problems that we've been going through for the past two years. Um, a lot of people have noticed the stigma because it's like subtle, like shots that's been thrown publicly. Um, but you know, we decided to make a video which was very childish to put it on the internet and very. you know, say what we were feeling. So uh, <laughs> I'm here, like I said, at Natalie's crib and I kind of, you know, you wanna, you wanna come out, you wanna come over? Yo, the girl was just standing right there, y'all. She was just standing right there. So when he's just telling her to come over, Nene had to start the performance. It was a brief silence, and then she's like, <sighs> and then she walked in looking all sad. Let's watch that one more time, please. Y'all know my rewind game. I like to watch things over and over because I like to point shit out. I'm here, like I said, at Natalie's crib, and I kinda, you know, you wanna, you wanna come out, you wanna come over? Hey. hey, hey, girl. Um, you know, like I was telling them, you know, this isn't a bashing session, you know. Um, and we're gonna keep it positive in the comments, but I know we've had a few conversations, especially you know, you coming to Miami, and of course we're gonna see each other. In the midst of all of this, it's supposed to be like, you know, it was supposed to be a fun vacation, but the way things happened, it was just so much. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I definitely want to come on here and publicly apologize to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we've talked, but I wanted to publicly apologize to you because I publicly put our business out there. You know, they whether they knew or didn't know or what I felt hurt about, you know, I shouldn't have went to them before I went to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I'm sorry. You know, regardless of what was true, what what was said, you know, all of that 
on both sides should have came to you because you're the you're the middle part. You're the one that's holding this together. And I just want to say I sincerely apologize. Yeah, I feel like it's important for us to be able to decide together, you know, what stuff we make public and what stuff is private and that Usually I'll be saying a couple comments by now. But I'm trying to hear this conversation. I'm trying to see what they're talking about. It's definitely something that should have been kept private and you know the repercussions for that happening were really bad you know on me like emotionally mentally um you know on our relationship why are you guys talking so sad and so down? We know y'all stayed together. Easy, you made a couple tweets. You talked on live after that whole shit went down and you said that you two were good. That you two were good. That she's only crying because of what Josh did. So while y'all over here acting like y'all done broke up, she and she already said that she apologized to you behind closed doors. This is just a public apology. So why are you acting like, like, okay, well, you know, yes, I'll accept your apology, you know, I forgive you type bullshit. So that's what she's giving off right now. Y'all, come on, man. You are doing too much. Well, I feel like that although it's out there, I don't want you to feel, you know, like it's just gonna be an all the time thing. I know it's, easier said than done but after seeing you the way i seen you with the, no cameras and and what i've seen you go through or go through the past two years like enough is enough i felt like i was very selfish you know to, to post that you know regardless of how hurt i was it's just there's that word selfish i didn't think about you you know and i I'm, that's my number one priority is you and in that moment, it wasn't. And I'm sorry, baby. Like, I don't. I don't want to ever see you, or feel, or know that you can go through the hurt that you you were going through. You know, some of the things that you expressed. You know, when you're in Miami, it was just like, damn, bro. Uh, I fucked up. You know, and I know you just wanted to have a good time on your mom's birthday. And seeing that we have mutual friends, how that couldn't really work out as good as we wanted to, like wanted it to. You know, I'm sorry. Girl, come on. <laughs> I, you know, I appreciate you apologizing, and I already talked to Josh and <sighs> told him how you know disappointed and shocked I was, and the you know what he did too um i don't know <laughs> this is just that shit was a real fucking smile the realest thing so far in this video that little smile she did let's watch that one more time that was a real smile and then she's like fuck i'm fucking up i'm fucking up let me hide my face <laughs> check it out y'all i don't know <laughs> this is just so and then Easy looks at the camera like, girl, you gonna fuck this shit up again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, you know, I want to move forward. I want to continue doing this. I'm really happy, you know, regardless of all the BS and everything that was said, you know, how we were talking. The end is, I didn't expect it. You know what I'm saying? I definitely, damn sure didn't expect us to hug. You know, and I, I didn't think that it would end that way, but because it did, I do see a brighter future for us. You know, just even as best friends, that drama was coming between us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we were just best friends. So when I expressed my love to you, and you know, me and him are going through it, it's like, damn, like this is, it's, it's really getting to me. You know what I'm saying? So you know, that is even harder. I will say this, and I'm talking about their initial fight, the fight that was actually real. That has to be tough because Easy was best friends with her brother too. 
not just with her. So when they're going at it, it's not like she's only going at it with her best friend. This is Natalie's brother. It makes things a lot complicated, more complicated than your average. Crazy too is like what? how he used to always, you know, like make jokes and stuff like that before. Like you express your love to me and how like he would low key be, you know, like supportive and like be with it, you know? If, cause everyone used to always ask, like, was there something more? He'd be like, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. And he used to always be like, well, you know, mm -hmm. we all are close, you know? Like he wouldn't be mad at it. Mm -hmm. Look at them reminiscing about the good old times. And you know, the fact that, you know, Y'all were going through it during a time that was like tough. Yeah. But like I was saying, even though all of that was tough. <laughs> yeah. Easy to cut her off. Easy to say, girl, you're getting off topic. Let's get back to the storyline. Everything we were going through. And like we all know, you know, within your family, my family, two years right. of this drama. And, you know, we're given they still only got even from my video, his video, a couple minutes compared to two years. Definitely. <sighs> yeah, I don't want the two years. I don't, I don't tell you. you. Yeah. Oh, or... I went through five years of that bullshit. So yo, two years ain't nothing. It's a, it's a fucking minute. But I was saying that to say, out of all those two years, we had never had a conversation like that, me and your brother. Never. Yeah, and, you know, and I was happy to see it. Mm -hmm. I was really happy. And you guys decided to have that type of conversation on video, on YouTube, in front of all of us to see? Why did you guys make that decision? It, you know, and I feel like, man, this is just what I wanted y'all to do all along. Like, I was, mm -hmm. uh, how many times did I say y'all just need to talk it out? And, mm -hmm. Both of y'all, ego's too big. Like, yeah. me. There's that second word, ego. Y'all could be on the same page at the same time to just in two years have that conversation and just be real and be raw and emotional and just be like, yo, I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I've been telling you that, like, you're just hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, you wouldn't be so angry if you weren't hurt. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't be so angry if he wasn't hurt. And y'all just admitting that, I just felt like brought y'all together. And then it was just like, all right, we're hurt. We're hurt. Now where do we go from here? Exactly. It's hard to be vulnerable too. When you when you go at it with somebody, someone that you care about, someone that you love. First, if you're a sensitive person or an emotional person like Easy, everything's gonna hurt ten times more if it's by someone that you care about. But when you have that pride, the first emotion that you're gonna be showing off is anger. You don't want to show them the hurt. You don't want to show them that they got to you in that way. And this is how shit turns out. But if y'all just really sat down from the very beginning and let each other know how hurt the other person made you feel, the other person would have been more understanding and it wouldn't have gone this far. And the way I'm speaking right now is more towards their initial argument. That's what I'm talking about. You know, and I think that was important and it was really like good to see y'all like hugging and laughing at the end and stuff and it really like you know warmed my heart so i do feel like something good came out of it <laughs> we gonna skip the whole posting about it and oh. jump straight to that the, to the hug i was trying to make <laughs> light out of the situation no no i mean but look think about it two years that <laughs> like really think about the sequence like would be cool. So I did like that little hug. Does it just? I don't know. Does it just? I'm not saying. I'm just like happy anyway. No, I'm literally thinking like to make light. I honestly don't condone anything that I did or he did or anything. But I'm just trying to like. It was a joke, but then now I was thinking like, well, would it? Would it have happened or no? I feel like y'all were already kind of on that path to the healing mm -hmm. and to the, yeah. and so uh, you know. I feel like ultimately, you know, you never know like the pattern of things or what was supposed to happen, what's not supposed to happen. But I feel like, you know, we just have to start choosing the peaceful route for everything now, for now on, because that, that can't take it. No. The peaceful route. I agree. 
And please also choose the honest route and stop manipulating your fans. You'll gain more support that way. And people like me wouldn't call out on your bullshit as often. Just saying. Yeah, thank you. And I don't want you to, you know, you know how much love I have for you. And regardless of what anybody says, like, you know. I don't have to prove that to anybody. Oh, I know y'all love each other. Okay, like I said, the world. That was never a question in my mind. I think y'all relationship is real. I think you both are madly in love with each other. That's a fact. But if you guys keep doing this shit, you might not last. Because from what it looks like right now, everything revolves around YouTube. And you know what happens with YouTube couples, right? Be careful. Only gets a couple minutes of us. You know how much I've loved you since we became, what, best friends, and that was years ago. I've shown that love on and 99% off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all corny as hell. So, let's start getting a little shoulder, like, where are you getting the shoulder from? That's it. Yeah. Y'all can fuck like, after the video. Me too, or you know fuck after mean? the video. Yes. Girl, you think I would be stressing like this if I didn't? Oh my god, y'all. I know, I told y'all that I love me. That I love me. Y'all cheesy you as hell. My biggest headache. Just my biggest love, too. <laughs> Hey, tell me not though, Easy looks thinner in this video. Is it the way that the camera is set up? Is it her sweater? What is it? She looks thinner in this video. You look good, girl. With that situation, I totally understand what And I see you wearing that little Jordan necklace that Nana got you. Well, so where do we go from here? Are we like... I know, I know where y'all can go from here. Continue your relationship that you've always had that hasn't changed. And go back to making regular videos, please. That's all I'm asking. Kicking it, we cooling it, we chilling. Oh my god. Oh my god, this might be the last video of the saga, finally. Jesus. Uh, get on my nerves. <laughs> what, what are we? What, so, so what are we? What are we? Girl, stop. Y'all been girlfriends. You, you rocking the beads to the fullest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we? You got to make me call you an Uber real quick. You know when they hit you with that, what are we now? <laughs> Your Uber's outside. <laughs> the Uber? So look, she hit it. She, you know, she ain't going. She been going for the shoulder. She been going for the head, then that's still feels some sort of way. So what are you? I mean, it takes time to heal, but you know. So what are you? I'm not gonna be childish. We still in love. There goes that word childish. Y'all haven't used the word controlling though. What happened to that word? It done disappeared on, on us. <laughs> <laughs> so did we sign out as an easy gang? Or did we sign out as Natalie O'Dell, Young Easy? How do we sign out? Ah, they gonna be an easy gang always and forever. Easy gang. Gang, gang, gang. This video was stupid as hell. I ain't lying. What did I just watch? It wasn't even entertaining. Y'all just had to close the saga, so this was the closure. Finally. This has been staged like I've always said. But, the little tweet that Easy made. What y'all think? Should I respond to it in a video? Let me know. Comment below. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.